Hey Scrappers. Alright, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my gold recovery and refining videos. Just keep in mind that I'm a hobbyist. By no means am I an expert. Um, I'm learning a lot of this stuff as I go. Um, and I'm just sharing basically with you folks uh, what I learn, when I learn it, and you know how my experimentation is going. Uh, so make sure if you're going to do any of these things, which I really don't recommend, um, you know, do this safely. Make sure you have proper safety equipment. Um, you know, goggles, gloves, definitely gloves. Um, something to like a respirator or a face mask at the very least. Um, and do all these things in a very well ventilated area or outside. And that's about it. So keep watching. Hey Scrappers, Moose here again. So today we're going to be doing a, um, a quick video on how to recover gold um, from old plates and, and cups that have the, the gold rim. Um, it's very quick and easy to do. Um, what you're going to need is some auric chloride or uh, hydrochloric acid and bleach. Um, if you watched the other video that I did on uh, the printer uh, ink cartridge ribbons, uh, removing the gold from them, it's that same solution. So what you're going to want to do is start off by either um, filling a glass pan with um, some hydrochloric acid, just enough to cover the bottom, um, and add a very small amount of bleach. You'll be able to regulate um, how much bleach to add depending on how quickly the gold starts to dissolve in solution. Uh, personally, I like to just break these up into more manageable pieces. Like this. All right. So let's pan down here to our auric acid. All right, so here we've got our auric acid. We have a piece of china that, if you can see, it has that gold ribbon. It gets kind of worn off on this one, but um, all you have to do is just dip it in there, move it around a little bit. It only takes a few seconds. Right. We'll go on each side. All right. And as you can see, that gold plating is now completely gone. It's all in solution. So what you're going to want to do is put those pieces in a bucket. Um, you're going to want to rinse them off. That gold is in solution, so it's going to be um, some stuck to it. Uh, and there's not a whole hell of a lot of gold on these things, but it's enough to, uh, if you have a whole stack of plates, yeah, I think it's worth it. Always make sure you use protective gloves, protective eyewear. The fumes from this are pretty nasty, so make sure it's very well ventilated, breezy day. Alright, another one clean. And the nice thing, you know, it doesn't take off any of the, the inks or dyes or anything else on there, so it's, it's a very, very straightforward process. With cups, it's really easy, especially if you have like a Corningware bowl. You can just set it upside down, and the bowl comes right off. It's going to leave you with a nice yellow solution.
that's it for that. So it's very simple. All right, so what you're left with is a nice thing of auric chloride, which is just, uh, it's just gold in solution. Now right, you're going to, want to filter it out. Um, and then once it's filtered, you can precipitate with uh, sodium metabisulfite or bonide stump out. Stop! Don't go anywhere! Leave a comment down here. I want to hear from you. I want to know if you think I'm doing something great. If you don't like what I'm doing, if I miss something, by all means, let me know. Write it right down here in the comments. All of my other viewers want to see what you have to say as well. The whole reason why I do this is to help share information so that we can all be on the same page. And, you know, knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have about these things, the more money you can make. So, we're all in this together. Go make some money. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.